Well, hello there, my friends. Um, this is Allie Rogers Andreen, and I am back at it again. Um, I am going to be the uh, artist in residence um, for the month of February and um, at Arlington Public Library. And I just finished my installation, and it's another collaborative one. Um, so I'm just going to take y'all through it, um, do a little descriptive walkthrough um, for those of you who may not be able to make it um, to see it in person. Um, and so I'm just gonna flip the camera around and we'll go for it. Okay, so we are in a very different place now. We're not in a shipping container anymore. We're in an art gallery and a classroom um, at the Arlington Public Library downtown location um, where I have just in finished installing Connection Zones, um, which is a collaborative sculpture installation that um, just asks people to come together and play um, and have fun and be in community with one another. Um, there are just all these opportunities uh, for people to come together with their friends and their family or just by themselves um, and get their hands working, um, which is my favorite. So this is um, a fairly large room. You can probably hear me echoing. There are windows along the back wall overlooking a parking lot. Um, the right hand wall is a navy blue and the right hand wall is painted white and there are uh, tracked lights all over the ceiling which are providing the light for us today and there are some tables in the center of the room. Um, so um, I guess I'll just walk forward. Um, our first connection zone is um, basically the start for a weaving. Um, it's hanging from the wall uh, by some hooks and wires and there is this two inch by six foot um, plank of oak that is painted in really creamy peachy yellows and pinks and like the slightest hint of a gray blue and I'm kind of focusing in on that now doing a little close-up of it it looks like it's speckled with blue and then there are silver eye hooks mm. screwed into the bottom of it and uh, dangling from that are these tendrils of different colors of yarn um, in the center of the plank we have uh, like a hot pink uh, section of yarn um, and then radiating outward from there there are light pink sections going into like a school bus yellow and then on the very edge um, is fluorescent yellow. So it's almost like a, almost like a gradient, a little bit. Um, very sunny, very happy. And now I'm walking toward the center panels, which are really tall and narrow. They're probably about 10 feet tall and hanging down vertically. And at the end, they kind of curl. Um, and so this is, a strip of yellow woven paper and then which also has strands of pink and yellow yarn hanging from it and then in the center there is a white iridescent kind of scroll hanging down um, and really frothy white iridescent like I used the same material it's fabric um, and I bunched it up and it kind of looks like a cloud hanging from the ceiling. And again, it also has some pink and yellow yarns hanging from it, like little octopus tendrils. And then another panel of that school bus yellow with uh, this time yellow, teal, and pink yarn hanging from it. Um, so lots of vertical stripes happening in here right now. And then the last sculpture on this wall is another plank. This one's probably three inches by six feet. Um, and it has kind of a blue wavy line going ac painted across the bottom. It almost looks like a sunset, like a very narrow sunset. And then again, dangling from it are um, just lots and lots and lots of strands of pink and yellow and orange uh, yarn and nylon string. And they're just hanging vertically right now. Um, and eventually I hope people will kind of start tying things into all of these. So these are like unfinished weavings right now. And now I'm gonna turn over to the navy blue wall, which again in the center has um, a, 
a kind of a lateral weaving like we just looked at. Um, again, with a three inch by six foot um, wooden plank painted in very sunsetty pink and orange and yellow. Um, and then this time, the instead of hanging color by color, um, the yarn and everything is uh, hanging in a mix of colors, and I've added white to this. So I'm getting up really close right now. From each hook, we have pink, yellow, and white strands, and they're hanging down, and then there are knots going all the way across, and it's re-knotted. Ooh, this is tricky to explain. Uh, looks kind of like a row of houses, like with pointy roofs. Um, basically, I've just gathered and knotted the strands in different ways um, to create kind of the top of a spider web, is, is what I'm going for. So, and that just creates more strands from which to hang more things. On either side of this sculpture, I have a vertical, vertical planks hanging down. Um, and so again, this is one of those like two inch by six foot planks, but it is hanging vertically instead of horizontally. And then I've bunched up that white iridescent fabric, um, all along it. So it almost looks like I've taken a cloud out of the sky and stretched it to where it's hanging like straight up and down. And it is glimmering, um, in like pink and green and blue. And I think it's showing up on the camera. I'm just kind of panning up and down one of these sculptures. And then I'm moving over to the other one, which it's it's the same, same idea. We have this like translucent, weird, cloudy fabric that has been affixed to a plank and it's hanging straight up and down and it really stands out against the navy blue background. And really that's about it for now. Um, tonight is the opening reception, and I hope that people come and uh, share with me and play with me and add to these sculptures, um, tie knots into it, add things to it, um, and then I'll do a series of programs over the coming weeks um, where people will add even more sensory layers to it. Um, so if you are interested, um, I guess I hope to see you here. Have a wonderful day.